everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different than uh, normal. Um, I guess it's kind of related, but anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make yourself some fancy Minecraft animations like I do. Uh, so, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, so obviously you're going to want to have your browser open. Uh, so, I'll put links to all the stuff in the description, but you can also find them on Google. Uh, I guess I'll show that right here. Uh, you can just search, um, let's go back, all the way back, okay. So you're gonna need, uh, this is gonna be in Blender, obviously, uh, cause if you haven't watched any of my speed arts, I would recommend that, but, uh, I do use Blender, so, um, pretty much that's what I'm gonna be doing, cause I don't know anything else, besides a little bit of C4D, but I don't use it. So anyway, <clears throat> Uh, you're gonna just want to search Blender, and it should be one of the top things. Uh, um, so yeah, just want to go to Blender.org, <clears throat> uh, and then go over here to download Blender, uh, and then it should say the current version. Uh, this tutorial is it will work completely fine with uh, current version of Blender, and probably future versions. If not, I'll probably update it at some point. But currently, as of uh, May 17, 2017, it's completely accurate. So you're going to want to go here, and I would recommend the installer, uh, just because it's easier. Uh, but you can also do the zip, if that's what you want to do. Uh, and then download from whatever. I would recommend 64-bit, because uh, it's just more efficient and whatnot. And most people have 64-bit computers anymore, so yeah. Going to want to go ahead and download that. Uh, wait for that to download. I've already downloaded them because they do take a little bit depending on your connection and whatnot. And you're obviously going to need a Minecraft rig uh, because we're doing Minecraft, so like, kind of makes sense. Uh, so uh, so it'll be this one at rimdenis.net. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's what it looks like. It's this website. Uh, We'll bring you here, and then you want to scroll down, and you're going to want to click on Cycles, and then just download right there. Uh, and then once both of those have downloaded, you're going to want to open up the Blender installer, because you're going to want to install Blender, Blender first. Um, and I don't know if it's going to work with me, just because I uh, kind of already have Blender installed, uh, but it's pretty much just like any other installer ever uh, and you're just gonna want to click next and agree and all that um, so I can't show that apparently because it's gonna be a bit rude but anyway that's that um, shouldn't be too complicated if you have problems uh, let me know in the comments but shouldn't have any problems uh, so then you're gonna want to click on the um, Cycles Minecraft rig dot zip, uh, and if you don't have WinRAR, I'm still confused on how you're using a computer. Uh, but Windows has some sort of built-in program for zips, uh, and there should be something uh, an extract. And you're just gonna want to extract this to some place somewhere um, easily accessible for all your animation needs and whatnot. Uh, and then it will extract, it'll ask you where you want to, and then you can just extract it there. And then once you got that done, you can go ahead and uh, close your browser, because you don't need that anymore. Uh, and then you're going to want to open up Blender now. Um, so, I'll just give it a second, and then um, should be here in Blender. Um, and should look pretty much identical to this, uh, if it doesn't, you're doing something wrong. Um, yeah, guys, I just decided to drop the, uh, recording frame rate to 50, because I was getting a little bit of, uh, a little bit of non-smooth stuff, and I only upload in 50 now, uh, for this kind of stuff. That's not gaming. Can't upload gaming in 50, because, uh, no thanks, uh, performance-wise, um, but anyways. So I dropped that to 50 and whatnot. Anyways, should look something like this. 
Um, if it doesn't, then uh, you're kind of screwed. You got a virus and you're gonna die. Probably not actually gonna happen, but it should look like this. Um, so now you're gonna wanna open up your Minecraft rig. And you're gonna wanna go to open, uh, and then I, in my graphics folder here, and then just go to wherever you have yourself your rig. So it's Minecraft rig, and it should look like this. And um, pretty much, you're gonna wanna start out with, um, if you're, well, let's just start out with like some sort of um, uh, render with a character in it. So we're gonna start out with the character. Uh, I'll show you how to do stuff without a character and just have like uh, blocks and stuff later. Uh, but for the most part, you're gonna want to, um, gonna wanna have a character in there. Um, and then you should be in the camera and also I probably should turn on a thing real quick hold on okay I have no idea where the thing that I was looking for is so uh, I'm just gonna have to explain what uh, what keys I'm pressing unless no okay I don't think so um, yeah okay I, basically I'll just tell you what I'm pressing because I can't find the thing to show you guys what I'm pressing uh, so, uh, this is how you should, uh, hold on, let me just make sure, okay, you should, um, start out like this, uh, and then you're gonna, uh, you're gonna want a real mouse for this, because using a touchpad for it is just not recommended whatsoever, and it's really difficult. So, uh, you can scroll to zoom in and out, uh, relative to, um, where the view of the camera, not necessarily the camera. Right now we're in the camera view, uh, but just the view in general is. Um, so you're gonna also want a numpad, because um, it makes view viewing and all that a lot easier. So the first thing I like to do is set this to material view, so that you can kind of see the skin and everything, and see, um, just see how it's sort of gonna look without uh, taxing your computer super hard and um, lagging you out. Uh, it also doesn't show like lighting and whatnot. So anyway, uh, you can hold down the middle mouse button and then drag around uh, to kind of look around. Uh, but I don't really recommend doing that. Uh, I guess, I mean, you could, but it's kind of weird because you were kind of focused on the camera so it gets kind of confused and doesn't really like that so you can press zero on your numpad to go back into the camera view and then I'm gonna press uh, okay hold on I need to reload this because I messed it up so don't do that uh, stay in your camera and just press zero on the numpad to okay it's kind of weird but anyway you can press zero on the numpad to um, exit it or just hold down the middle mouse button to look around and if you hold shift you can kind of drag the uh, view in a certain direction um, so let's set it back to material view you can drag around look at uh, whatever whatever you prefer to look at I guess um, and yeah so that's how you look around and stuff um, you can, Oops, I accidentally set it to wireframe. That's done by hitting Z or clicking in there. Um, anyway, so uh, I usually delete the cape because I just don't really like it, but that's kind of up to you. Okay, so now on to uh, moving this guy around. Uh, so, um,. Clicking normally uh, doesn't really do a whole lot, so uh, all of the clicking, all of the selecting whatnot, is actually done with right clicking, not left clicking. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you do drag like that, but that's not exactly how you move it, as you can tell you're getting some weird um, things that aren't really what you want. Um, so we're gonna try to select down here. This is uh, this is his uh, bone system, I guess. Basically, how you move him. 
pose and whatnot. Not. So you're gonna be in object mode. You're gonna want to go into pose mode so you can select the bones individually and uh, move them to your liking. So uh, you know you can move his arm out and up and um, do all that cool stuff. I guess um, it's kind of up to you what you do with that, obviously. Um, and then his head bone's kind of weird. Uh, it's like rotation, uh, so you can rotate his head and whatnot, make him do some crazy weird stuff. This bone's, uh, this one's uh, movement, and then this one is also rotation, so you can like can make him do that or whatever. I don't know. Down to you, obviously. Um, and same with the legs and whatnot. You can move those all individually, and uh, that sort of thing. So I guess that's kind of covered um, how to get get him into uh, whatever position you really want. And then this one, this one, you just kind of move his entire body. Uh, that's pretty much how you do his like his movement and whatnot. Um, okay, I'm gonna select this active element. Uh, that just kind of makes it, uh, you can also hit period to kind of zoom in on, uh, whatever you got selected. Um, it's kind of weird. I'm just not a fan in general of the way, uh, the way Blender does looking around and whatnot. But, uh, it's, it's alright. You'll get used to it. Um, so that's how, uh, you do posing and whatnot. Okay, so besides the fact that uh, he kind of looks like uh, he's having a bit of trouble, uh, I'd say he's perfect. Um, so we're going to go ahead and um, I guess I'll probably show you guys how to, um, uh, what's it called, give him a skin, you know, so you can uh, change him from Steve to whoever you want him to be. Um, so, uh, you should be over here in this here tab. Uh, also, you probably would have this here thing. You can close that by hitting T um, and all that, because I don't really use it all that, all that often, except when I'm doing other stuff besides Minecraft, but it's not really useful for what we're doing. So, you should be uh, in this tab, um, and... Uh, you're going to want to go over to this one while having uh, this selected. Remember to right click to select. Um, and you're just going to want to go ahead and um, just click that. And then go ahead and open it. And then you can go ahead and get your... Um, you can get whatever skin. So I'm going to use... Uh, I'm pretty sure this one. Um, and then it should actually look like that um, and what you're gonna want to do is go over to this one here uh, right next to it scroll down to UV maps and click that and that there uh, for plus 1.8 skins uh, if your skin does look fine normally you don't have to look at that uh, that's only if your skin is uh, like 1.7 and below you're gonna want to change both of those so it looks kind of stupid, but that's just because of my amazing job with posing him in the most beautiful pose ever. Um, and now it's looking weird again. Okay. I'm really confused as to, like, the, just exactly why this, the way the camera's moving is being so annoying. Uh, besides that, now we've given him our skin, so I'd say that's this guy pretty much done. So now I'm going to show you guys how you can um, add in uh, blocks. This would al also work if you were just in like a blank, um, a blank space. Like if you just had that square, you could just delete the square by hitting X. By the way. I don't think I actually mentioned that. Delete stuff just by hitting X. Uh, and so you do that. Um, and whatnot. And you can delete 
that square and then you want to go ahead and go to append here and it'll open up this and you're going to want to go back to find your minecraft rig and then you're going to want to go into minecraft underscore blocks underscore rig dot blend and then go to object and then it's got all the blocks in here um so let's say we just wanted to add um so we just want him to be walking on a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of glass here, because uh, I don't know, I I didn't make the rules here. Um, so when moving uh, blocks around, you're gonna want to hold Control down, uh, and then just normally click, and then you can drag it, and it locks it to a grid, so that the blocks uh, can um, line up together like Legos, I guess, more or less. So you can drag this block to wherever you want. Um, and then you got that there. And then say you want another one, you can just, while having this selected, just hit, um, uh, hold up, my music's not going, okay. Uh, you can just hit Shift and then D, and then hold Control down. And then you can move this block and then hit Shift D again. Remember to hold Control every time so you can get um, you can get uh, get it lined up so they don't all um, look weird like uh, like this when they're like inside of another block or whatever. Uh, you can hit Control Z to undo, obviously. Uh, so now we're gonna hold Shift down and you can right click on each of these blocks. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, and we can go ahead and hit Shift D, and then I'm gonna click, and while holding Control, um, and then you can place that so I can um, keep it in the same spot, and then just move it. For some reason, we never selected that block, but that's okay. Uh, that's just kind of how I did it because I was dumb. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that there because OC. I mean, that's that's kind of all you really need here. Let's uh, zoom into that real quick because my camera's being weird. I uh, also should probably talk about items so we can go ahead. Um, oh, shoot, I should probably mention torches, because that's something you might want to use. Um, so torch, if you're going to want to use a torch, you would want to select the torch and then hold shift, uh, and select point and flame if you want to flame on it. Uh, for the, if it's on a wall, you can just do torch wall and torch point. Uh, and the point is basically the actual light emitting part of it. Um... So I'm gonna select both of those using shift, um, and then slide it down using control so that it is uh, actually on block here. And let's go in the camera view to see what we would be seeing right now. And that's looking okay except for that he's standing on a floating glass platform, but uh, you know, that's, that's fine. This looks all good, so we got a torch and everything, so that's cool. Uh, let's say for some reason uh, there was let's go ahead and into items back in the object and items let's say he's got an iron axe just like chilling somewhere so let's select that hold uh, we don't have to hold control for this necessarily I mean you can uh, but I usually don't just because um, I don't really see it necessary to line it up with the a grid uh, also Keep note that uh, if you were to let go and place it there, once you hold control again, it will like pop into a different grid. Uh, and so if you were to like, if you were to select this glass block and move it, that is not even what I meant. Okay, there we go. So if you were to move it up and then select it again and try to control it back, it wouldn't work. So you kind of want to make sure all of them line up in your grid before placing them so that... Um, you don't get some weird annoying stuff like this uh, so let me just control Z it a few times um, okay so we're gonna hit R here 
and that's for rotate, and then the three axis, x, y, and z. So I'm going to find the one I want, so it's z, so I can rotate it on this axis here, and the rotation's kind of weird, how you have to move your mouse, but uh, you kind of get used to it, I guess. So let's really say we want to rotate it like that, let's hop out of the camera real quick, and just drag it back into here, and have him holding it like kind of an idiot, it's not even going through the hole in his hand, but it's whatever. Um, so that's kind of looking pretty good. Let's see, I think I've covered a lot of it. I should probably bring up mobs real quick, just because that'd be good. So you're going to want to go into, you guessed it, mob rig. And go into, not mesh an object, just objects. Uh, and then let's say you want a... Uh, I'll have a pig. You're just going to want to click mob underscore pig. And you'll have that, and then you're going to want to select his bone system in object mode and then you can just drag him over here uh, pretty simple that's how you do that uh, the rigging is kind of pretty much the same for a uh, person so if you were to want to move his leg around you could do that um, I usually don't mess with mobs a whole lot in my renders just because uh, I, I don't know I just don't really do that so uh, yeah that's all I got for mobs. Uh, I guess I could also mention face control and stuff. So uh, you could select controls up here, and um, what is it? You could um, go into pose mode real quick, and uh, you can select all this stuff. This is like the mouth controls. So you can open his mouth up and do different stuff. Uh, it'll say down in the corner what it is. I don't want to explain all of it. But pretty much that's that's what it is. Um, so right now we can pop over into rendered mode to see what it would look like right now. Um, uh, keep in mind this is a really um, a really simple tutorial, and I'm not going into depth about like lighting and whatnot and making things look like super realistic and whatnot like I do in my renders because that's uh, that's a little more complicated and that's probably for another video uh, however so if you want to hit F12 or just go to render and then render image um, okay so as you can see here we've got ourselves a render and I just paused in between there because renders do take quite a bit of uh, CPU power um, and recording just doesn't really help but as you can see, kind of like here, uh, you can see it's really uh, grainy. Uh, not like obviously, if you zoom in super far, it's going to be grainy just because uh, that's how resolution works and whatnot. Uh, but you can kind of see it's pretty grainy. So um, also the background, you can change that over here. Uh, you want it? It should be there's a button that says use nodes, and you can mess with the background color and whatnot. Uh, make it like that, make it really dark, strength, black, that's kind of, ambient occlusion is another thing that you can have off, so if I hit escape, <clears throat> nice voice crack, kid. okay, so let's go into rendered real quick, now it's going to be really black, and the torch will be the only thing emitting light, so if I check that, you can see the difference in uh, how things look, uh, so if we set that there, and then put like ambient occlusion down, you can see it starting to look a little more realistic but with the green background it's kind of weird so this should pop that out that out that looks pretty uh pretty realistic i guess um so we're gonna hop back over into material view so we don't stress out my cpu too much um and then sampling we're gonna go here into render if it was looking a little bit grainy and just set that uh i'd say the max you're really gonna need is like 80 for a minecraft render like in super complicated stuff but something like this like 25 should be good uh also in here you can go ahead uh if you want you can mess with that i'm actually not going to go into depth about that another thing you can do is mess with this stuff but that'll be all for a later a later video um but yeah so then you can just go ahead and uh uh, say this is how you want your final scene 
you can just go ahead, go up here to render image, and go to second to render, uh, which I will do. Uh, so just to keep in mind, um, increasing resolution and uh, samples will uh, greatly increase uh, the amount of time it takes to render your final image. Um, obviously that, that would kind of make sense I would hope uh, because it has to render more pixels and put more detail into each uh, so it would take longer obviously. Uh, there's certain ways to make it faster which I'll go over in another video because I'm thinking about making this into some sort of series. As you can see it's taken quite a while it's been going for a good two minutes uh, and it says it's got about 29 seconds left so two minutes and 40 seconds or something like this um, depending on your computer this can change completely really far uh, depending on your computer uh, like on my other system which is still in the works uh, it's got quite a beefy CPU compared to this laptop and would be able to do this in say a minute but uh, just because it's a laptop it's gonna take longer um, and honestly if your computer's not powerful enough it might just not be worth doing super high detail renders or in general really uh, you know it just depends but most of you guys I would hope would have computers at least on par with mine or even above um, anything on par with this is perfectly fine uh, you're just gonna have to deal with long under times but if you're getting like tons of lag when like editing your scene and whatnot, then uh, it might be worth looking at investing in an upgrade. So, yeah. Uh, but once you have your render here, this looks pretty good. Uh, I'd say it's about what I would want it. Not really, but I mean, this isn't like an insanely detailed scene or anything. It's nice. Uh, so, you're going to want to save it as an image because obviously, after doing all that hard work you would want to save it so I'm gonna save it in my renders thing here uh, tut, tut, uh, um, and you can save it as a PNG to uh, I'll show you how to do that we'll save it okay let's scroll down here so you save it as a PNG you go to output and then just set it to PNG instead of JPEG uh, that's how you do that so that's pretty much how you um, how you do all the um, all that stuff all the rendering and whatnot of it um so yeah uh, in the next episode i'll probably go over how to um work in post editing using like uh photoshop or whatnot i'll be using paint.net but uh i'll show you how to touch it up and make it look better and do some effects to it to make it look better but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did do not forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.